The other example of chemical property that was given is reactivity. <clears throat> Meaning, how well can it react with another compound to produce a completely new compound? <coughs> For example, I think I talked about this example before. <coughs> Maybe not in all classes. <coughs> but, let's say, actually, sodium um, is a pure sodium is actually a metal it's a silver colored metal uh, and you know when you talk about salt as sodium we're actually talking about sodium chloride which is totally a different compound okay but anyway this is sodium metal let's write that down <clears throat> plus another chemical Oops, that's supposed to be a beaker. Uh, water. Oh my goodness, I'm losing it. <laughs> that's a beaker full of water. This is water, H2O. It will react violently. And, okay. Oops, oh my gosh. My drawings. Oh my god. Um, and that sodium metal, when it comes into contact with the water, it will, where's my color? It will ignite, like, violently. It'll, like, it'll, like, float around and go, <laughs> you like the sound effects? <coughs> and it'll, like, literally just, like, react. produce a different compound. <coughs> oh man, okay, sorry. Versus, um, if you put like paper clip, <laughs> which is made of metal, but it's made of like typically steel. It's usually coated too. Paper clip. You put that in water, it's not really going to react. It's just, you're going to just get paper clip in water. Anyway, it's not the best example, but just wanted to show you what that means. Like, these two things will react and produce something totally new as a result. These two things will not react and will not produce a new compound as a result.